What's up guys, Tofurox here, and uh, yeah, this is kind of strange, I have a Crisis 2 gameplay. Uh, I really miss this game, I, I traded in a long time ago, but I still have, uh, I don't know, probably like 10 or 15 gameplays left from this game, so I'm just going to start, uh, you know, using them every once in a while, and uh, this is just kind of a bit of an update video, I traded in four games the other day and uh, pre-ordered MLB The Show. I think I got like $106 for those games. Uh, I renewed my membership and uh, there was like a 30% like bonus for the trade-ins because I uh, put it towards MLB 12 The Show. So that was pretty awesome. And uh, one of the games I did trade in was Modern Warfare 3, so you will not be seeing any more gameplays. Uh, well, you might see a couple. I, st I still have a few on my hard drive. Uh, nothing really special, but uh, traded that in. MLB 11, the show, Madden, and Uncharted 3, which I beat. And I, like I said, I pre-ordered the show, and then I had some money left over, and I decided to pick up Skyrim, which I'm not really used to uh, playing RPG-style games, but I'm playing it right now, actually. Taking a bit of a break, I just died a couple times by, uh, got killed by a few giants, which I didn't, <laughs> didn't realize that they were so tough to kill on that game, but uh, that game is a lot of fun. You basically just the open world and you just uh, roam around the place and uh, discover villages and towns and stuff and go on missions and stuff. It's, it's really cool if you guys haven't played it. I'm sure a lot of you guys have. It's a really popular game. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy with, uh, with my purchase. I think it was like 50 bucks uh, pre-owned, which isn't too bad. And I had about 30 bucks left over, so I really only paid like 20 bucks for it, which isn't too bad. So I was pretty happy with that, and uh, yeah, surprisingly I got like $35 for Modern Warfare 3. Honestly, I would have took nothing <laughs> for what I got out of that game. I really didn't get too much out of the game, and I also wasted 50 bucks on COD Elite, which sucks. But, uh, well, at least now I know not to buy it, <laughs> unless the next Call of Duty is really awesome. Or I'll just uh, buy the DLC separately, because I really didn't use COD Elite except for maybe like once or twice. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll mainly be playing Skyrim and MLB 12 The Show, and I will be uploading probably probably a baseball video maybe later tonight or early tomorrow. Uh, always cool to get those, uh, try and be one of the first people to get a new gameplay of, uh, up of a game. Uh, so look forward to that if you guys like baseball, which I don't, I don't know how many of you guys really do, but... Uh, Probably upload some uh, franchise gameplay like I did last year or maybe some Road to the Show. Not really sure yet. Uh, I guess once I get my hands on the game, I'll, I'll see what uh, what I'm fancying at that uh, point, point in time. But uh, back to this game. Uh, graphically, man, this, this game was really sweet. Uh, I think really the only thing that bothered me was the invisibility and, and the armor, I guess, because it just took so many bullets to kill people. Um, and the game was really laggy too, but uh, I just I liked the feel of the game. It was a little stiff uh, control wise, but overall the game was a lot of fun. I, I think I go like 10 and 2 in this gameplay. I thought I had that guy there, but I didn't. Um, but uh, I think if they make another Crisis game for the consoles, I think it's going to be definitely worth a buy for me or at least renting it somewhere, because uh, I had a lot of fun with the game, it's just not too many people played it, and I really couldn't get a whole lot of friends to play the game, or buy the game, or rent the game, or anything, so I was mainly by myself, I think, uh, yeah, Nestel and uh, Tony, uh, Why Not the Tiger, had it as well, but uh, I, I don't think we, we, we played a few matches together, I don't think we played a whole lot together, this game kind of died out pretty quick, uh, this game came out the same time, uh, Homefront came out, which I bought as well, which I traded in. That was a waste of money. Played a little bit of the storyline, and that was okay. But uh, storyline on this was pretty cool. I never beat it. Uh, I forgot what I traded this in for. I can't even remember anymore. I bought a decent amount of games last year. Don't think I'll be buying as many this year. I think Skyrim's going to keep me busy for a while. I I'm kind of happy I, I held off and uh, just heard nothing but good things. So I was like, you know what? It it's different. I uh, haven't really played a game like that in a long time, or really ever, so I uh, wanted to give it a shot, and I'm really happy that I did, because it, it is a lot of fun. Uh, the only thing that's frustrating about it is when you get killed, uh, you know, if you didn't save it recently, like if you're on a mission, you got to start from the beginning of the mission, which kind of sucks, so 
uh, but now I've learned to, to say very often, so it's really not too bad. But uh, I'm still I still have Black Ops. I didn't trade that in yet, so I, I played that uh, split screening with my friend Mots the other night, and that was actually uh, you know a pretty good amount of fun. A bit frustrating because uh, that's just how Call of Duty is. It, it's fun, but it's going to be frustrating. But uh, Modern Warfare 3, I, I'm happy that game is gone. I never used, <laughs> never played the game anymore. For like the past couple months, uh, really, I, I think it's just uh, I think it's just better for me. I think I, <laughs> I have a lot less stress in my life without that game. So I'm really not that disappointed, um, you know, it, with trading it in because I really doubt that uh, I'm going to get the urge to rebuy it like I did with Modern Warfare 2 and some other games uh, like COD 4 as well. But uh, I don't. I, I would like to get Modern Warfare 2. If I can get it for cheap and there's not too many noob tubes and stuff or boosters, uh, I really wouldn't mind getting that game again. But uh, I, I would like to get this game too uh, <laughs> again, but I, I just don't think there's going to be anybody playing it. Uh, I know it has a pretty strong PC following, but uh, it just wasn't uh, as successful as, as a lot of people hoped it would have been for consoles. But you know, uh, there's always uh, the next game, I guess. Hopefully they can get it, uh, you know, get some of the bugs and, and stuff worked out with the game. And I never got to try the uh, the hardcore mode, or or I think it was called Classic, maybe, where there was no nano suits. I uh, never got to use that. And I kind of wish I did, because I think I would have probably kept the game for a while, or as long as, you know, I could get into games. But uh, I remember, like, right before I was trading this game in, man, it was it was tough to get into games, and uh, the connections are always an issue with this game, too. But, uh, you know, watching this gameplay does kind of make me miss the game. But uh hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Uh, I will have some... I think I'm going to do some Skyrim videos coming up pretty soon, and I'll do some MLB 12 The Show videos as well for you guys. And probably some Black Ops, and then I'll also continue with, uh, of course, uh, Beast Field 3, as I like to call it. But I uh, hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later.